A Chicago-based uh, animal rights group known as Mercy for Animals went undercover and got footage that we're about to show you right now of these baby chicks and how badly they're treated. Um, I don't, I, I don't want to say anything until we watch the video. So. All right, let's watch. Highline Hatchery in Iowa, the world's largest hatchery for egg-laying breed chicks. For two weeks, a Mercy for Animals investigator covertly documented the systemic cruelty chicks at this hatchery are subjected to. These workers, called sexers, roughly separate the male chicks from the females. These male chicks are worthless to the industry because they will not lay eggs and will not grow large or fast enough to be raised profitably for meat. These male chicks are killed by being dropped into a grinding machine while still alive. Such killing methods are standard within the industry. Nearly 150,000 male chicks meet their deaths this way each day at the facility. This machine uses a laser to remove part of the chick's beaks. Chicks are placed head first into this rotating machine. Birds' beaks are filled with nerve endings. This procedure can cause both acute and chronic pain. This industrial machine separates newly hatched chicks from their eggshells. Chicks are roughly dumped onto moving conveyor belts, which haul them off to be sorted, debeaked, and for the males, killed. Many chicks are injured and killed by the sorting machine. This chick fell through the sorting machine and was left to die in a heap of eggshells on the factory floor. Still alive, this chick fell through the sorting machine and was sent through a scalding wash cycle. Workers roughly handle the animals with little regard for their welfare. These workers roughly sort the chicks, searching for sick, injured, and deformed birds. The cruelty you have witnessed is not isolated, but rather inherent and widespread within the entire industry. Please remember these chicks the next time you sit down to a meal. You can help in this needless cruelty by adopting a compassionate vegan diet. For information on cooking without eggs, visit chooseveg.com. All right, we probably should have given a stronger warning before that video. Mm -hmm. uh, that's powerful. Uh, now, the question is, what do you do about it? I don't know, man. I mean, on an individual level, you can adopt, you know, a uh, vegan diet. But, I, I mean, when I watched that video, I got this sense of hopelessness because I asked myself the same question. It's like, okay, so I'm going to, if I want to, I can become a vegan, right? Mm -hmm. But how is that really going to change anything? Yeah. Now, here's the thing, right? Uh, you can, my sense of it is try as much as possible to vote with your dollars, right? So I get the eggs that are, uh, you know, free-range chickens. Mm -hmm. So I hope that they don't do this as much or they're not supposed to do it at all to some degree. And, it, you know, there's so many different legal definitions for what's free-range, so you don't know if they're doing something equivalent to this before they put them on the range, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a carnivore. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm an omnivore. I, I, I eat animals because that's what I was born as, okay? Mm -hmm. And I like steak. I like eggs. In fact, I have to be honest with you. After I watched this, I had some eggs, oh. okay? 
okay, I'm the bad guy, right? But the thing is, I'm going to have eggs tomorrow, or I'm going to have them a week from now. Mm -hmm. Keep it real, right? What difference does it make, right? Now, the reality is, on the other hand, of course, if, for example, aliens landed on Earth, I know this sounds silly, but hear me out, right? And they did this to humans. They ate humans. They are carnivores. What mm -hmm. can you do? They think we're yummy. And they're much more powerful than us, right, as we are to these animals. And they put on the, us on these treadmills. And they cut off our noses. And then you're on the treadmill. Well, I think they're lying. Next thing you know, and then you're a male and you get... Uh, thrown into a grinder alive. Thrown into a grinder alive. And then they take the females and then they suffer through whatever they're suffering through. Imagine how outraged we would be. These are the worst, the most sinister aliens in any movie you've ever seen, right? Mm -hmm. But yet we do it to other live beings all the time, right? Without oh, no. giving it a second thought. So I guess my point is, give it a second thought. See if there are ways that we can improve it realistically. Because I don't think it's realistic to ask everybody to go vegan. I just It's not even close to realistic. Mm -hmm. So now if you want to go vegan, God bless, go forward, right? But we got, and I know that they're interested in efficiency and that's why they got to put these live creatures through a factory where they do this and et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But I'm willing to have my food be a little bit more expensive. I really am, you know? And if more people make that choice, maybe we can get it to a point where it's not so unbelievably inhumane. Right. Look, maybe this is a terrible comparison, but when I watched that video, I kept thinking about my dog, mm -hmm. right? Because what's, what's the difference between a dog and a chick? I mean, they're both innocent animals that have no say in what happens to them, right? So can you imagine something like that happening, like a dog factory where they do something like that? It just, it just made me feel physically sick watching well, that I mean, video. that's the other absurdity of our laws. If you do that to dogs, you spend a couple of years in jail. Ask Michael Vick, right? You do it to chicks, hey, everybody needs eggs, everybody needs chickens. So, and the industry and the company claims that, uh, that the way of killing the male chicks is actually the most humane. They call it instantaneous euthanasia. They claim it's standard practice supported by animal, veterinary, and scientific community. I don't know if that claim is anywhere near true. And they say, what are you gonna do with millions and millions of male chicks? We have no use for them. What the hell are we supposed to do with them? I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough question. But I, I say, you know, for the moment being, we got to find a way to make this a little bit more humane so we can live with ourselves. I mean, humans are at the same time incredibly ruthless at times, mm -hmm. but at the same time can be compassionate. Let's try to focus on the compassion side here a little bit because we've been plenty ruthless with other live creatures. And see, even if it costs a little bit more to get it to a point where, and then look, give people options. You want to, some people don't mind us at all. You want to have cheaper eggs, cheaper chicken, you buy that way. And if you want to have a little bit more expensive, but you can l sleep at night, you buy it the other way. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the best answer I got. And final thought is, man, I'd hate to be a worker in that factory. I know. How do you have the heart to do that? That's what I was thinking as well throughout the entire video. Like, how do you have the heart to just throw baby chicks all over the place? Yeah. There's no freaking soul, you know? It, it's t Look, it's tough, man. It's not easy to find a job. You know, this is in Spencer, Iowa, and it's not like they're doing it out of joy, I would imagine, right? And they got to feed their family. But that's a tough way to make a living, man. I, I couldn't do it. Have you seen all the TYT videos from today? Check out the Young Turks YouTube channel. Do it already.